So today I'm back with another repair or this could just end up being a repair attempt since this is a really El Cheapo CD player. Basically having no market value whatsoever. But still I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look. So the first thing I'm going to do is power this thing up. I like Power supplies here are pretty good on these things. And okay, I've got a light here. Something could leave. That's good. At least I'm getting power. So I probably not a power supply problem. Um my next step is going to be. Let me go ahead and see if the tray goes open and close. Ray closes and goes open. Um, we look down here. I can slowly turn this here so you can see the optical pickup coming out there. And I'm going to shut the unit off here. I'm going to turn it back on now. Now this optical pickup that should go to back to its um, initial position it was in, the resting position. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's going. Um, now, I think what I should do now, I think I should put in the CD. That would be a good idea. So, here we are with the CD. Rather a junky CD. zero no spin up whatsoever and I'm getting a reading down here which says well this can't be shown here but it said um, it does say disk so I guess that means disk error the next thing I'm going to do now is see if the laser is working I'm not going to go ahead and use my uh, use my laser power meter I'm just going to go ahead and use our old um, digital camera and look at the LCD screen or what else I could do I could look at the at the laser from the side but I have to be you have to be at a certain good like maybe like a 45 degree angle and you can't be too close to it and you Probably in a dark room you could see it faintly or you could use like one of them old um, IR detector cards. You could use that but I'm just going to go ahead and use the camera and see if the laser even um, starts, starts up there. And after that then I think the laser is turned on first and then the machine goes into focus. Then I should be able to see the lens move up and down a little bit let me go ahead and try that and well let me take a look at the lens too and here's the optical lens right there with my fingers in fact the lens can be seen right there and it doesn't really seem to be dirty or anything um, so let me see if we're getting something out Maybe we can get, maybe the disc doesn't have to be in there. We'll go ahead and close up the tray again. If I can get to it. Okay, why is it not closing? Okay, there it goes. Now I'm actually holding the camera over the optical lens. There's the lens on there. The unit is off now. But once I turn this thing on, at least for the first couple of seconds, then the laser should um, should light up. I should be able to see like a, a faint red glow here. Again, you shouldn't look into this um, directly with your eyes. Um, what you're seeing here now is through the camera, and I'm looking into the actually the screen of the camera. So let me go ahead and try this. There's something right there. 
I don't know if that can be seen kind of like in the middle of the screen. Now it should shut off. I can show that again. There's that. There it is. Okay, but it's not spinning up. That means the laser works. But of course, we don't know how much power this thing is putting out. Um, the laser could be working, but it could be weak. But I'm not going to hook up the laser power meter because this is such a super cheap unit. It wouldn't it wouldn't even pay off. Okay, once um, I think once the laser turns on, then the optical lens should move up and down because it's trying to focus. And if I look at it from the side here, I should see this thing here bobbing up and down a little bit. Let me go ahead and turn the unit back on. I'm constantly turning the unit off and on. And I'm going to watch it from below and see if something happens. Um, no. It just it seems to move sideways, but it's not moving up or down, which is kind of kind of odd. I think um Okay, let me take a closer look here at that lens. That thing is not moving at all. Um, I'm just going to use a little, do a little non-standard method here. Of, now, of course, when, when you clean this thing, the optical lens is always very delicate and you got to use like a really light touch. But, man, this thing is like, it should go up and down a little bit. It's not moving at all. It's like it's uh, stuck into place. That's what it is. So basically I tore deeper into the unit and I just unloosened this thing here. This is the clamper. And now I'm going to try to get uh, take a little closer look and if I can't see anything there um, I guess I'm going to have to give this project up, seeing that it's such a low value unit. So now since the unit is shot, I'm going to go ahead and tear, tear this apart anyways, or at least see how far I can go. I don't want to pull the whole optical pickup out because it's just too much work and doesn't pay off. Um, wonder what I need to do to get this off. I think I can, there's a screw right there. Now normally you shouldn't really be touching this kind of stuff with your bare hands without being, have some kind of uh, anti-static protection. But I just want to see if I can get deeper down into this. Of course now I ripped the unit apart and here's the problem right there actually. I think this is a magnet right here. There's a magnet on the other side right here where the toothpick is at and right here. And this is simply peeled apart. And it seems like that's been stopping here the, the lens from moving up and down. And here you can see the, the coils right there. The lens will move up and down and it will move left to right. So I think this project, and I don't think I'm going to try to glue it or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and salvage the parts. Thanks for watching.